Welcome to the news channel 8 pewterreport.com fantasy football forecast. Dan Lucas along with Andrew Scavelli from pewterreport.com. Uh, week 15 now of the NFL season. We are in week two uh, of the playoffs for most fantasy football leagues. So uh, limited options, obviously. The best of the best are now playing. But information-wise, Andrew, uh, let's start with our traditional Tampa Bay Buccaneer uh, update. The Cam Brate forecast that you gave us has come true. He is definitely an active part of this Bucks offense, even though it had a, a, a very uh, a good half and a bad half against the Saints last week. Well, he certainly paid off for me in my lineup uh, <laughs> last week, I gotta say that. But uh, first off, just gotta say congratulations uh, to anybody watching this right now because that means that you're probably in round Still two. Still playing, and, yeah. You, know, you gotta continue to do what you're doing because obviously it's working. But we're just gonna kind of give you a few little uh, notes and tidbits, things to watch out for uh, as you go forward in this important week. So certainly starting with the Bucks. Um, right now, I feel like a lot of the Buccaneers options um, are a little risky heading into Baltimore on the road facing one of the toughest defenses. Uh, certainly quarterback Jameis Winston uh, seems like he's a risky QB one play this week. So, you know, I, I would probably put him um, still in my top 10, but kind of like lower down the list. Um, certainly uh, his receiving weapons, uh, his main guys, uh, Mike Evans and uh, Cam Brate, potentially Adam Humphreys. I would still keep them in your lineup um, because they're going to obviously be throwing the ball a lot. I don't right. believe Peyton Barber is really going to get going um, in this game. Um, but a guy like Chris Godwin, we saw last week, uh, targeted 10 times, only had one, one reception, kind of took over from Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson, not only in the lineup, but uh, with the lack of chemistry with Winston. So um, right now I'm kind of, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm a little hesitant to play him. All right. So. Some news and notes here as we get to the, because uh, the, uh, the wheeling and dealing is not really happening right now at this point in the playoffs. However, uh, there are some injuries to pay attention to uh, heading into these Week 15 games. Let's start at, uh, and, and, and potential uh, lineup uh, moves that have to be made uh, at the quarterback position. What do you have? Uh, so certainly right now at quarterback, it looks like the two guys that are questionable this week are going to be uh, Ben Roethlisberger and Lamar Jackson. Odds are that both of them play. Um, however, if either one of them doesn't or you uh, don't necessarily like your matchup, a guy uh, that I think would be a great streaming option, believe it or not, is actually the Buffalo Bills quarterback, <laughs> Josh Allen. Um, in the last three weeks, he's actually put up the second most uh, fantasy points among all quarterbacks right now, um, only behind Patrick Mahomes. So he's definitely on a hot streak, and uh, he's definitely a guy to keep uh, your eye on just in case one of those other guys can't go. <laughs> that's a, I mean, so, that's you, yeah, you I would are never, trying to get to your championship <laughs> game. Like, I'm yeah. going to go Josh Allen. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You never know. I think, I think it could work. <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, running back. What do you have running so, back? So uh, certainly at running back, um, the big news that came out today, um, certainly with the uh, Chargers and Chiefs going on Thursday night, it doesn't look as though Melvin Gordon will be able to play. And his backup, Austin Eckler, is also dealing with a uh, stinger injury. Mm. So both of those guys look like they're probably going to be out, which means that the third string back, uh, Justin Jackson, is going to be receiving the bulk of the work and in this case he's probably going to be a uh, priority free agent ad this week so if you need a, an, an extra guy uh, keep your eye on him um, also uh, I'm trying to think with the uh, New York Jets uh, Isaiah Crowell has a toe injury doesn't look likely that he's gonna play his backup Elijah McGuire really good pass catching um, back uh, guy out of the backfield uh, and they go up against the Houston Texans who really aren't good uh, defending that kind of thing so I think he could potentially be a running back to play and then uh, with the San Francisco 49ers looks like Matt Breida may potentially miss this week as well mm. uh, last weekend uh, his backup uh, Jeffrey Wilson actually came in and played pretty decent so um, between all three of those running backs I think you might be able to find one uh, kind of plug in play. all right Let's keep it going. Wide receiver. So wide receiver, uh, the two big guys to kind of keep your eye on that might not play, uh, Tyreek Hill of the Kansas City Chiefs and then Odell Beckham of the Giants. Um, odds are that both of them probably will end up going uh, because, mm -hmm. you know, both their teams are still trying to, you know, fight. But uh, if they can't, uh, I really like what Kenny Stills has been doing with the Miami Dolphins, especially uh, last week. Uh, now that Tannehill is back in the lineup, yep. he's starting to emerge again. He, ha he caught uh, eight passes on nine targets for 135 yards and a touchdown. Uh, so he might be a good wide receiver filling this week. All right. And the the position that has stumped us all season long, the well, tight end. <laughs> well, uh, believe it or not, last week we actually nailed our tight end yes, pick. Yes, good job. Uh, Ian, Ian Thomas, uh, in Greg Olson's absence, he's yep. had 15 targets. So he's doing pretty well. And uh, 
if I believe Jordan Reed might be on the mend, uh, right. might not play. So uh, certainly just keep your eye on Ian Thomas. And then an another uh, situation, uh, just in case Odell Beckham can't play with the Giants, um, their tight end, Evan Ingram, he's still on, or he's still available in a lot of leagues, surprisingly. So I think he might receive uh, the bulk of the targets again this week. So just those are two potential tight end uh, streaming options there. And last but not least, do you have any defenses in mind? Well, um, unfortunately, this week there really aren't too many uh, like viable uh, defensive streaming options. Certainly, if the Seahawks defense is still out there, uh, I would absolutely pick them up. They're a no-brainer uh, playing them against the San Francisco 49ers. And then the only other option I might consider at this point is maybe the Atlanta Falcons defense, uh, only because they're going up against the Cardinals who turn the ball right. over a ton. Um, and give up the second most fantasy points to all defenses. Right. So. All right, Andrew, good stuff as always. And uh, we want to wish you all the best uh, trying to get to your championship games, but you got to come up big in Week 15. Thanks for watching this week's Fantasy Football Forecast on News Channel 8 and PeterReport.com.